Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I'm going to share some scriptures we did today. The Lord either directs me in prayer early in the morning or sometimes in dreams, but we've been pretty much giving one a day sometimes, but today was three. Um, I'm only going to read one, but it was Romans 5, 1 through 5. I'm going to read it. Um, and then the other ones were Revelation 1 through 5, 1 through 5. And Genesis 5, 1 through 5. So, here's Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we also have access by faith into the grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory, glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. <coughs> hope of the glory of God. <coughs> Faith, hope, love being poured out upon us in our hearts by the Holy Spirit of hope. Nobody likes the tribulation part. I don't. But it does build character. It does build perseverance when we have to press through. Not pleasant. Sometimes it's a dying out process. Things that just have to just come up and out of us and dealt with and gone away with, you know? I mean, many, many, many people, their lives are wrecked from childhood experiences, you know? And I'm not downing people or parents or anything like that, you know? I'm not even down, you know, I wouldn't even down my parents, you know? I had a pretty good job, pretty decent childhood, really. But there was some brokenness in there that God had to heal me from. <clears throat> so, that hope, that's why, it, that's why this main theme, one of the main themes is Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. I wore His glory, guys, and it's time to shine. In spite of all the storms, going on all around us in life. Some in our own lives, some in the world around us, some in the political realm. <clears throat> Time to fixate our eyes on Jesus, where our true hope lies. Our faith and trust and put Him first. I'm praying about this message, but one that Jesus is telling me to put out there it's probably going to come out tomorrow um, <clears throat> I just have to work on the delivery of it because it's probably not going to be a real warm fuzzy feeling message um, so just going to put it out there tomorrow but I'm praying about it what God wants me to do but he wants us to just trust in Him in all that we do. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. That's one of my most favorite scriptures. i got several of them, but that's one of them. Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. <clears throat> so, where's our hope at today? Is it in what the President or Congress is doing? Or is it in Jesus? Because guys, they're kind of in a mess, really. I mean, a bunch of nonsense. Hurtful crap, really. Sorry for the not PG part. But that's the world that we live in. But Jesus is saying, come out, come out, come on. Come out from amongst. 
They're in the world, but not of the world. Peculiar people. A royal priesthood. So, kind of just, you know, that person just buck up and the storms of life, whatever they might be, you know, family, friends. Um, you know, you could be in the midst of a horrible divorce. Uh, I mean, you could name a bunch of things, you know, that, that are traumatic. I and, mean, you know, death of someone close to you. Uh, you know, my wife just went through some of that. <coughs> So, I mean, those are storms, you know, of course. I know several people that have lost children, you know, that's a big storm. How are you going to put your trust back in God and hope and faith and just expose yourself to Him when something that horrific happens? But that's where we're at, guys. Because nothing else is going to stand but His Word. So really, just kind of, you know, that's the other main theme I like to go with. Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, and the Word. Don't fill your mind with this other stuff. Because that's where we get in trouble up here. And the enemy's trying to get into here. Messing with our mind. You know, I mean, my wife and I sometimes miscommunicate things. It's like, I think she said it one way, she thinks she said it another way. And, so, you know, sometimes it causes an argument. And I kind of got to step back and say, man, you know. And realize, maybe I didn't hear it quite right. Or maybe she did tell, I mean, you know, or maybe she did tell me that way. You know, I got to kind of reevaluate it. And so... Don't let the swirls and stuff and storms and volcanic, earthquake, tsunami type junk that's trying to destroy you all around you, all around us. Lay it aside. Put your trust in Jesus. Because that's what it's going to take. So, anyhow, that's kind of my message. Uh... I'm going to read Genesis 5, 1 through 5, and then read Revelation 5, 1 through 5. That's about the Lamb of God being worthy um, to open the scrolls. Genesis is about Adam. So I don't know why the Lord tied all those together, but He did tell me 5 was important too. Five, five, book, book 5 in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible is important. So it's like, okay, God, I don't know why He's going to take me down this. You know, 316 was important. Um, Three, four, five, and six was important. Book, book three, four, five, and six was important. It's just so. Anyhow, that's what I got for today, guys. Um, and tune in for tomorrow. Uh, put something else out tomorrow. Probably another scripture for the day too. So, and then this other message that the Lord's been laying on my heart to just get out there and just go ahead and do it. But I'm, like I said, I'm praying about the delivery of it because I don't. I don't want it jacked up. <clears throat> I don't want me involved in it. I don't want flesh, my opinions, any of that other stuff. That's the, that's the main reason why I say, who's your source? So, all I'm doing, <clears throat> all I am, is a directional vessel. I'm telling you, get it from God. Get your information from Jesus. Get it from the Holy Spirit. Get it from the Word. Let it not be just a book but let it come alive in your heart so the other day when I was praying because that's what I do in the morning time when I'm praying and then I go to my word I pray and then I go to my word see what's going on for the day kind of <coughs> not kind of but that's the direction I go um, I took my Bible out set, set, set it in front of me and I start praying God let this enter into my heart clean me up show me teach me you know just all these different things all right, guys, I'm not even going to answer that. Oh, well, yeah, let's check and see who it is real quick. It's going to run some stupid sales call, probably. But, um, so, I was praying, and the, and the Lord said to me, He said, Pray just like you do over your meals. Because this is my bread of life. 
food for your soul. I'm like, wow, that's okay, God. So that's kind of what I did the other day. Like, so, you know, I'm just kind of me. So anyhow, I just threw that out there. But anyhow, um, we love you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, have a great, awesome day. Comment. Email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com if you want directly. Otherwise, you know, put comments on the site. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys soon.